Hello, I'm J-Law, but you can call me Justin, and welcome to the Geek-Centric Podcast, and welcome to our special Behind the Geeks episode. If you're joining us for the first time, well, we are Geek-Centric, a channel covering the world of movies, TV shows, toys, collectibles, gaming, and all things Geek-Centric. Joining me for today's road trip, he's definitely the mater to my McQueen, Mr. Nate Shelton. How are you, sir? Get her done! (laughs) I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Uh, yeah, I guess I'd be the mater. I don't know. I always thought of myself as, um, I don't know, more of a, a sports model. I don't, you know, I kind of, I like the city life a little bit more. I don't know. Rather sure. than country life, even though I'm literally sure. in the country right now. Exactly. Yeah. You live in, you live in Halifax, bro. So come on. Uh, but before we get to our special guest, I wanted to let our audience know that we have seen Disney and Pixar's Cars on the Road, which is hitting Disney Plus September 8th on Disney Plus Day and Boy, did we enjoy it. We do have a spoiler-free review for the series that will be dropping Wednesday, September 7th on our podcasts. Uh, So be sure to subscribe to us wherever you listen to podcasts so you can hear our thoughts. But today, as you can tell from the title of this episode, we are talking to Mater himself, Dan Whitney, a.k.a. Larry the Cable Guy. Uh, A huge thanks to our friends at Disney Studio Canada for helping to set up this interview. It really means a lot to us to to be included and and also just to have the opportunity to to talk to this iconic actor who has voiced Mater for many, many years. And, uh, you know, Nate, I know you're the one who conducted this interview. What what was that experience like before we actually get into it? How how do you feel? Yeah, I mean, it's he he's so lovely. He's just so lovely. And it's honestly, he's so. down to earth and it just felt like I was having like a nice little conversation uh with you know with this guy who's a comedy legend uh and has been mater as you said for like 16 years now um Mm -hmm. I don't know I think it was it was super cool and we we kind of just it was it didn't really feel like an interview as much as it just felt like a little chat little little conversation um and you know about his time as mater and um yeah there's some really really just nice lovely things that he talks about with his experience as mater uh, in the interview. Well, you know, you drop a great idea in this interview uh, that I think is great, but let, let, let's get to it. Uh, without further ado, here is our interview with Mater himself, Larry the Cable Guy. Hey, Larry, welcome to the Geek Centric Podcast. My name is Nate. How are you doing today? Nate, I'm doing good. How you doing, buddy? It's, I'm good to you. Well, I'm talking to you, so I'm doing fantastic. Uh, <laughs> I wish, First, I wish I wish I wish yeah. I had family members excited to talk to me. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or I was some sometimes I wish I could even just talk to myself. You know, I'd be pretty excited for that too. Uh first things first, with the world opening up now uh, a little bit, I want to know, have you had the chance to hit the uh the open road and just go for a drive? Absolutely. I uh we've been we took a family vacation last year, took one this year. We went out, we like to go out west. Mm. So I think two years ago, we went out to Yellowstone and we went out to uh, the Narrows and Jackson yeah. Hole, Wyoming. And this year we went to the giant redwoods. We went to the sand dunes of Colorado. So we like to go out west, wet whitewater rat, wet rafting. And yeah. uh, it's fun, man. We go out, we stay at campgrounds and cook out at night and a lot of fun. There's four families. We, two, we go out together. That's fantastic. That helps to probably inform uh mater for this uh this journey for cars on the road i'm assuming right like oh absolutely i mean i've even i've gone down i've already gone down a couple times route 66 i've done that and so absolutely i love traveling that's fantastic um i've i've watched the the show and i have to say it's incredibly charming it's incredibly sweet i mean as it always is with with cars and um i i love how it explores even more of mater's like idiosyncrasies i want to know how many of those are are your own uh, and is there anything you've adopted from Mater over the years that's uh, happening in your everyday life? Well, let me just say this. Um, uh, yeah, pretty much. I do a lot of those. <laughs> my yeah. my wife even says that, you know, my comedy character, Larry the Cable Guy, is fun to do, but it's not really a lot like me in real life. Mm-hmm. Uh, but she's but, but my wife says the best. She says, but I love Mater. Because I can see my husband and Mater. I can see awesome. a lot of you and Mater, which is true. And so um, I, uh, whatever Mater is doing, um, I pretty much have the same kind of unique little quirks. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> that's why it's so fun to voice the character and, and 
and so easy to do some of the things yeah you know it's like and owen and i've worked together so much i already know that when i when i'm getting the lines fed to me i know his inflections mm. so i already know kind of how to talk back because i already know what he kind of said and i right. think he knows me well enough to do the same thing but um but yeah uh but yeah there's a lot of those things that Mater does that i do do in in real life <laughs> i think that's why they wrote them in i think the folks yeah. with pixar know i do those things yeah yeah <laughs> well it seems like it, obviously it's a perfect fit you've been you've been voicing Mater for uh, for a long time now. I mean, you've, you've between movies, shows, shorts, video games, rides, uh, yeah. you've, you've done it all. I got to ask, I mean, obviously like that's quite an accomplishment. Is there, is there a moment in all these years of playing Mater that sticks out to you that you're most proud of? Uh, man, you know what? Yeah. I think the theme park, Yeah. Uh, getting to voice a lot of the things at the theme park, because not only was I, I mean, I was very blessed to get the part, but I didn't know what it would grow into. Yeah. And then when I'm with my kids or some friends and we walk into the Cars theme park. Dude. And I'm up there going, hey, everybody, welcome to Cars Land. We're going. <laughs> it's so unfathomable to me. Yeah. Honestly, I just, I'm in shock. Uh, yeah. So that, that moment, the moment when they said they're putting in a theme park mm -hmm. was my jaw dropping moment of holy mackerel. This is like yeah. my greatest memory of all time. <laughs> yeah, that's got to be so much fun. And especially for them to, to walk in and just hear their dad's voice everywhere. And just, I mean, I had, I had the opportunity to visit Cars Land for the first time right. uh, just this year. And I was just, as you said, jaw dropping. I think it's right. such an incredible place. And and to voice a character that is universally liked. Yeah. You know, because everybody likes to be liked. Everybody likes to do something people like. Uh, but man, just all over the world, you know, I'm doing interviews all over the world and they say such nice things about Mater and how much they're in their country. It's like, that's the cool thing about it. You know, when you do yeah. stand up, you you develop an audience. Mm -hmm. And uh, stand up is stand up, and you develop a certain audience. But something like this is universal, and that's what's really cool. And that's got to make it feel so much better than when your wife's like, "You, you're, you're, you are Mater. Like you're so much like <laughs> yeah, Mater." So it's, it's that's pretty awesome. rewarding. That's awesome. Um, now you got your start on radio, uh, but I've also heard you're a big fan of podcasts. Uh, I kind of want to know, just if, if, if you know, obviously in the mind of Mater here, if Mater had his own podcast what do you what do you think you know it would be about oh my gosh well first of all if disney would let me do a mater podcast <laughs> right let's make it i don't happen, think disney. i can start one without him no i'm sure yeah <laughs> but uh you know what it would be it would be funny that's a great idea the mater podcast holy oh, mackerel right it listening would, on the road <laughs> <laughs> i know there would be a lot of uh I know he wouldn't know a lot. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, he surprises you too sometimes, though. You know, every now and then he's he brings up something that you're like, wait, that came out of Mater's mouth, and yeah, there's it's, certain it's yeah, there's certain thing Mater really understands because he's excited, he's interested in it, but yeah. things he's not interested in, he he had who he, he has no idea. <laughs> uh, Larry, I would be remiss if I didn't ask. I'm I, I'm here in Canada, uh, and uh, you know. I, I want to know if, if Mater and McQueen ever popped on some snow tires, maybe in a season two, uh, and traveled across Canada, is there anywhere that you think they should visit? <laughs> oh, my gosh. I, you know, I filmed a bunch of movies up in Vancouver. Mm. I used to do the I used to do the Montreal Comedy Fest in Montreal. Yeah. I think, you know what, though? I think that if McQueen and Mater went to Canada, I think they should go up into Newfoundland and yeah. up in there because i it's the craziest thing everybody sounds like they're from scotland or something i don't <laughs> yeah. know it's like i don't even feel like i'm in canada but you're in canada but it's really pretty there and the yeah. people are so crazy i yeah. mean i loved it up there so yeah they should they should do a canada but they got they got to do a lot in the newfoundland area because i found that to be so interesting up there yeah 
yeah, it'd be beautiful. It'd be interesting to see how they would handle the weather. I think that would be a bit of a, a bit of a different yeah. Well, uh, they could use those them. snow tires. That's it. That's it. Um, okay. <laughs> la- last question here. Um, the, the music in this series, Jake and Bobby are absolutely phenomenal. Uh, and the, the theme song just kept getting stuck in my head over and over again after watching uh, these right. nine episodes. I want to know when you're on the road, what is that one song that you love cruising to that maybe your kids are like, dad, not again. Like, why do we have to, keep, why do we have to keep listening to this one song? <laughs> oh my gosh. I love a huge variety of music, but if I wanted to get somewhere fast, yeah. Uh, probably, uh, I'm an old school guy. Mm-hmm. So if I want to get somewhere fast, you will love me for this because they're Canadian triumph. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go right there. <laughs> Absolutely. Fantastic. I love triumph, man. One of my all time <laughs> favorites triumph, uh, Ario speedwagon triumph yes. and Boston. Those are some getting down the road music right there. There we go. I love it. I love it. Larry, uh, Larry, Dan, thank you so much uh for for taking the time to talk to me today you've been absolutely delightful and uh i'm so excited to see where where mater drives next awesome hey thanks a ton i appreciate you liking it and man i'm like i said i'm just happy to be part (laughs) awesome thanks so much man you got it buddy see ya and we're back dude that was a great interview i totally agree with you i think he's he's just so down to earth um, and I think we sometimes forget that we've talked about this before in, in other conversations of just how we always put these people on such a pedestal because they're starring in the things that we love or they're, they're making the things that we love. And, you know, there's just such a, um, a distance between us and them. And these interviews, I find every time they just, they surprise me and they shouldn't because these are, these are people they're, they're human, but man, Larry, the cable guy, he is, he is so down to earth and you had a great conversation with him. Bravo, bravo. Thanks man. Yeah, it was, um, I, I think I, I really enjoyed uh, his reflection like you could tell like mm-hmm. he wasn't just sort of spitting out some of these answers he's sort of reflecting on his time as uh mater and especially his time in comedy right and i think mm-hmm. um you know him talking about being in in stand up and developing the character of larry the cable guy for a certain audience but just how much bigger mater is right how much more universally loved mater is and you can see just how happy he is and um just how you know blessed he is with this character yeah, for sure. Absolutely. And I got to say, I am in love with the idea of a <laughs> Mater podcast. I yeah. think Disney, like that would be totally dope. I think Dude. more, even just more content that's related to like character centric podcasts and things that kind of, that would be so great. And, you know, you, you mentioned how Mater doesn't really know much, right? Like, mm-hmm. or I think, uh, I think even Larry actually mentioned that. And I feel like that's kind of the beauty of what that podcast could be. It could be reflections and perspective based on on Mater, yeah. um, or he invites guests on, and you kind of <laughs> learn with uh, with him. Very, you know, maybe inspired like a, a Sesame Street style, but again, a little bit leaning more towards like the audience that that did grow up with Cars, because we got to remember, as you said, sixteen years he's been playing this character, mm-hmm. and uh, what what's crazy is that the kids that grew up with it are now, you know, probably a little much older and Mm -hmm. and you know again the the podcast could really speak to them so uh i I think i think it was i think it's a brilliant idea brilliant idea thanks man yeah i i honestly i was like i just because i i actually literally the night before we did the interview i was in my hotel room and i was just like Mm -hmm. i was listening i couldn't fall asleep and i was like you know what i'm just gonna look up and just see if there's any podcasts with him and he he's a huge podcast fan so he i love that he liked the idea i like that he would be so down to do it because i think he'd be phenomenal in it and like it could literally just be like short 10 minute episodes where mater just talks about stuff he sees while he's traveling the world like from in in his own mater way he could give descriptions of like different landmarks and things like that could be educational it could be entertaining and also disney the podcast world there's not there's not really that many podcasts for kids right i don't think that that's really a a market that's been tapped into so Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying make it happen disney but um but yeah no i thought honestly this was this was such a, a a fun time and such a um, I don't know. It was just nice to to chat with him and and to hear his perspective and his thoughts. And um, yeah, man, I started listening to a lot of Triumph as well. Uh, I've, I've been because <laughs> he he shouted them out, and I I got to admit, I'll be I'll be completely honest here. I acted as if I knew. <laughs> Who he was talking yeah, about? Yeah, he didn't know them. I, I didn't I, know. I, I was on the yeah. <laughs> I was afterwards. on the interview. I'm like, he doesn't know who they no, are. No, no. <laughs> but 
<laughs> After looking into them, Mississauga's own triumph, yes. uh, I got to yep. say, like, lay it on the line is a banger. Justin, please do yep. yourself a favor. Download their classic album off of off, <laughs> off of Apple Music because I was listening to it in the car and, like, don't tell my mom. But, like, you know, it's definitely a going down the road fast song. Uh, so right. I, I definitely have been uh, been enjoying based off of his his recommendation for for tracks to listen to on the road. Yeah, for sure. I'll definitely be listening some some Triumph. But uh, again, I just want to say thanks again to Dan Whitney, uh, aka Larry the Cable Guy, for joining us here on the Geek Centric Podcast. And again, a huge thanks to Disney Studio Canada uh, for helping set this up. We're, we're just so humbled to have a chance to connect with Larry and learn more about this lovable character that he's been voicing for 16 plus years. And uh, honestly, it's awesome that we can continue to, to have these opportunities uh, just to connect with, with people that uh, are making the stuff that we love. So thank you so much, Disney Studio Canada. Um, but that is it uh, where our special Behind the Geeks episode with Dan Whitney, AKA Larry the Cable Guy, the voice of Mater. We hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, feel free to subscribe to us both on YouTube because you're probably watching this on YouTube at youtube.com slash geekcentric uh, or wherever you listen to podcasts, just search up the Geek Centric Podcast and you'll, you'll find us. And if you want to write into the show and let us know your thoughts on this interview or any of the stuff that we cover here at Geek Centric, well, you can do so by reaching out to us by email at wearegeekcentric at gmail.com. That's wearegeekcentric at gmail.com. Or you can hit us up on Twitter at geekcentricyt or on Instagram at We Are Geek Centric. Those will all be available in the show notes. Uh, keep in mind, we have a ton of other episodes covering all things geeky, including our recent coverage from Fan Expo Canada held here in Toronto, our hometown. Uh, not only did we put out an episode on our podcast feed uh, recanting our adventures at the con, uh, but we also posted six interviews with artists, vendors, and creators who were at the con, and uh, they became friends, and those are all available on our YouTube channel. Again, youtube.com slash geekcentric, so you can check out all the different people that we talk to that are Canadian as well. We, we want to specify that. We definitely, they're all 100% Canadian. So go give those videos uh, some love. But this week, we have a lot going on. Uh, we, we're, 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 we got new content dropping both on our YouTube channel and on our podcast feeds. Uh, later this week, we'll be dropping our interview with writer-director Zach Krieger of the upcoming horror movie Barbarian from 20th Century Studios. And on the other end of the spectrum, uh, we have an interview with the composing team Alan Silvestri and Glenn Ballard from the upcoming Disney live action movie Pinocchio. And both of those will be uh, featured as videos and podcast episodes. Uh, so be sure to subscribe wherever you'd like to enjoy that content. But we're not done. We have a ton of reviews on the way. As mentioned, we'll be reviewing uh, the Disney and Pixar series Cars on the Road, uh, that, which will be dropping this Wednesday, September 7th. Uh, we also have a review coming for the Netflix series Cobra Kai Season 5 with Nate and Kevin leading that one. Plus, we'll have reviews for Disney's Pinocchio, which is hitting Disney Plus on September 8th. And we're thinking about it. We, we would, based on timing... We may do a review for Barbarian, the horror movie from 20th Century Studios. Yeah, if, Studio. if Justin can, like, stomach it. I don't know if he's even going to be able to watch the movie. I don't know. I don't know. It's such a big <laughs> We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, but all of those will be available on our podcast feed, wherever you listen to podcasts. So check out our show notes here on YouTube to see where you can find us. Finally, we have our weekly episodes this week in Geek, uh, where we cover the latest news and trailers from the Geekiverse. However, based on how busy we are this week, uh, we are not going to be posting a This Week in Geek episode. However, we will be posting an episode next week, and we will be covering all the news and potential trailers from the Disney Expo D23 that is happening this weekend. I think they're going to give us a lot of stuff to talk about. So there'll be a ton to talk about next week. Again, all the details of where to follow us, how to find us both on YouTube and on podcast feeds will be in the show notes. Nate, thank you so much for joining me for this special Behind the Geeks episode. Bravo with the interview. Oh, you did thanks, such man. a great job, man. Thank you very much. You want to see some more fantastic interviews, definitely check out those Fan Expo videos because... You did the heavy oh. lifting while I ran camera, so I appreciate it. <laughs> awesome. Well, as we say, bro. Love ya. 
Peace. Get her done.